I am Anthony Medway, the self-manager at Palin Test. I am now going to discuss with you the aftercare view instrument, which will cover cleaning and maintenance. Are you still getting unexpected results and you have followed the best practice advised by Neil? Perhaps it's time you give the photometer a clean. With day-to-day -day use, dust, liquid, and other contaminants can enter the test tube holder and into the optical area, resulting in abnormal results. Did you know? 90% of queries can be solved on the field by cleaning your instrument and following the best practice. Cleaning your instrument is simple and can become part of your routine. You do not need much to maintain your photometer. These products can be sourced locally at hardware stores or online. Antiseptic foam. It must be water-based. It is important that you do not use a cleaning spray that contains any solvent as this may damage the sensitive optical area. Secondly, a lint-free cloth. This will ensure it leaves no fluff or particles in the optical area. We offer two types of photometers at Palin Test, the compact, the handheld instrument, and the multi-parameter bench style instrument. To start, the process is the same for both instruments. Firstly, add the antiseptic foam to the lint-free cloth. Then wipe the outside of the instrument, especially around the test tube holder. This will reduce particles entering the optical area. Once the outside of the instrument is cleaned, it is advised that you clean the internal optical area. This is when the process differs between the two instruments. To clean the optical area of your compact, this can be accessed easily through the test tube holder demonstrated here. Add the foam to the cloth and then clean the inside of the holder. Remove any dirt, dust or other particles and then once cleaned, you can return to your testing. Cleaning the optical area of the photometer instrument, the opti optical area cannot be accessed easily by the test tube holder. Flip the instrument on its back, locate the base plate at the top end of the instrument as demonstrated here. This can be simply unscrewed to provide you access to the optical area. With the antiseptic foam and lint free cloth, gently clean the optical area. Remove any dirt, dust or other particles. And then once cleaned, screw the base plate back correctly and then you can return to your testing. You have cleaned your instrument and followed the correct methodology. However, you're still getting an unexpected result. You may want to check if your instrument is still functioning as when you first received it. This can be done using check standards. Check standards enables you to check the calibration of the instrument. There are, these are a good tool to help find the source of the issue. For example, if the instrument is, with, is within calibration and has been cleaned, then it is more likely that the methodology or best practice has not been followed. At Pin and Test, we offer two types of check standards. NDS standards for our compact range and liquid standards for our multi-parameter range. NDF uses unique glass technology to measure the level of absorption of light through different thicknesses of glass. These are currently only supplied by Pale and Test. They have five years from date of manufacture and are not affected by temperature or movement. Liquid standards use manufactured color standards with a specific value associated to them. They have two years from date of manufacture like the best practice of test tube maintenance, all marks and fingerprints should be wiped off prior to use. They should be kept upright and at room temperature for correct use. Both check standards can provided with instructions and a certificate with values unique to that set. The use of check standards will differ between variants, but it's very simple. When running check standards, you want to match the value on the screen to the corresponding value on the certificate. If it matches, the instrument has passed and is in calibration. If it does not match, it has failed and means it is no longer in calibration. We offer full service at Pale and Test headquarters in the United Kingdom. If you're seeing continuous abnormal readings, your instrument has failed check standards or requires a repair, we advise you get an instrument booked in for a service with Pale and Test. Your service with Pale and Test is all inclusive and we'll go through the following procedures. An external and internal examination of the instrument, cleaning and externally and internally, replacement or repair of any necessary parts, upgrade of software, 
recalibration of all wavelengths, and then final test and certification. To ensure the longevity of your instrument, we advise getting into a routine of cleaning using check standards and getting your instrument serviced. This will ensure reliable and accurate results. Thank you for taking the time to attend this webinar by Palin Test.